I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and I fear no evil, because I'm blind to it all. Hello, Lori. You have a lot to say, it seems, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe it to be the case that people do not understand the things you have to say. That must be very frustrating for you. It must be agitating to have so much to say, but so few people to hear it, right? So few people to come and see what it is you have to say, the things you have to espouse of the commandments and of ascension, of casting out and of the I am, the great I am, the mighty I am. Hmm. I mean no condescension. I mean no ridicule. I am sure that in your time and experience, you have undergone your fair share of that. These are trying times, some might say crazy times. Pestilence is surely working its ass off, as it were, and that can be very intimidating, if not scary, for most people. But is it scary for you, I wonder? I'm not so sure. You appear to have a certain conviction when it comes to the things that you believe. That is to say, if you actually believe them. You know, I once encountered a man, two, actually, while working. They approached me. They spoke to me. Although myself at the time, not believing to be religious, or adhering to any of the belief systems that are available to us. I too find myself trying to explain things to people, trying to articulate, if only I could say it in a proper way, then maybe, just maybe, they would come to see things the way that I do. And I do not believe that you are much different in that regard. Right? What happened to your dog, Lori? Filled it with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh, <what> the... <laughs> it was the dog, right? The dog that was in the cage that you cast out? The one that I am, the mighty I am, beheaded, took its head off, right? I know about that. <sighs> there is a millstone coming. Oh, well, I thought I see the head down on my We cast Kali out. Oh, what they, and God Almighty took her head, took its head. <sighs> what they, had to pull her out from three children. Oh, what? I said that. No, I know. Yeah, dear, I said that. No, I did. No, no, I did. She got locked in a cage. Oh, no, 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 no. And I took her out of the house. Oh, I said, no, what? And cast her out. As soon as she hit the ground, God took her head. And thus with violence shall Babylon be thrown down. Oh, what? I said, no, I did. I thought, no, what? 
I took on the mother of hell yesterday in Jesus Christ's name. Oh, I said, I would die for the children. I was in a See, the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. I am the church. I'm very interested to learn which of the commandments the children broke. Why did they need to be reprimanded? Was it something they did? Was it something they said? You seem to believe that they were very ungrateful. Did they perhaps request something of you? Request something in a way that was unjust? Hamashiach has called all the children to repentance. I was a disobedient. I was not that ungrateful. I was it there. It is it there, no one does it there. Joel 2. I went there and I said, I went there. What is the milestone, or rather the millstone, as you refer to, that will be coming soon? I went there. The furthest thing from it. I was there, 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 there. And I'm going to prove it. Last thing Jezebel said to me was, I'm more blessed than you are. I have a house. I have a husband. <laughs> Let's rock and roll because I have a millstone ready for Jezebel. That you want people to see. Are you planning your ascension? I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that not only were you intending an ascension for yourself, but for others. And I can't help but think to myself, with all the talk of lamb's blood, the blood of the innocent, is it? Or am I mistaken about that as well? Hmm. Perhaps. And maybe it would be for the best if I was mistaken, and if this was just a farce, as I believed at first those two men to be. But these men who approached me, the one man spoke to me and asked me where my pain resided. He wanted to pray for me, Lori. He wanted to help my pain subside, to vanish, to be vanquished by a higher power. I think much like myself, like you, there is the belief of a higher power. The one you refer to as the great I am. The teachable children, Oas and Andea, have been forgiven. Oas and will be taken with us, Oana. of Yeshua? Is it in his name that you plan this ascension? I wonder, I ponder, perhaps you will indulge me, <laughs> maybe. Forgiveness, and told God Almighty I'm sorry, for the children. I'm I was so I'm so worried about the children's salvation. Because they weren't taught right. All they know is to say I want and give me. And I'm this and oh it no, no. See, they were sinning against the Almighty Father. They were sinning against the word of God. You have a lot to say, Lori. And I'm here. I always am. Much like the watchers, the observers. 
the arbitrators of our world, of our existence. The ones that see constantly omniscient. Me, not quite so much, but I like to believe that I am led along a certain path for a certain reason, Lori. There was a situation that happened not too long ago in which I was given the opportunity, much like this one, to interject myself, to include myself in a conversation, in a dialect. Unlike this one, however, I felt that there was too much on my plate, that there was too much for me to bear at the time. My cross was too heavy, or so I believed. And because of this inaction, it was a big action in the long run. Things I'm sure played out the way they needed to and happened the way they were supposed to. Unfortunately, in that situation, the person in question did something. They took it upon themselves to ascend in their own way. And so I come to you, Lori, in hopes that you will understand you are not the pale rider. You're not the pale horse. You are not the embodiment of Santa Muerta. You are none of these things, Lori. You are not death incarnate. You are not the decider. You are not the arbiter of that, Lori. And so, it is my hope that you would not take it upon yourself to ascend yourself or others. Especially the innocent, Lori. The lambs do not need to be slaughtered, much like the man who brought his son to the hill on the behest of the great I am. At the behest of Yeshua, he was being tested, Lori. We're all being tested, Lori. All of us, every day, we are given a path. We are given choices to make. We are giving tests. And especially now, on this grand occasion that it is, with the state of the world, the way things are, It is very, very tempting, I'm sure, to take matters into your own hands for the greater good, perhaps, in your mind. What is it like in your mind, Lori? I'm sure many people have given you advice on how to handle what it is that you believe on the courses of action that you need to take. Family members, mothers, fathers, brothers. Surely there is someone else in your life other than the girls, other than the children, the lambs, that has spoken to you. Not just the I am, not just the Yeshua. Not just angels or demons. Shaitan, whatever you want to call them, Lori. Whatever you want to call the bells, the sounds, the church that is you. You refer to yourself as a pixie. What does that mean to you? What does any of the things that you say mean to you? I'm curious to know. I'm sure many other people are curious to know. And so, as an arbiter of my own right, in my own way, of my own jurisdiction, I implore 
everyone who sees this to explore what it is you have to say, Lori. To come and see. And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder and one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, the white horse. The white horse comes for us all, and we are all but the children, the footprints left behind, the marks in the sand and the dirt. We are, in our own ways, innocent, as we are guilty of many things, breaking of the commandments. But what does repentance mean to you, Lori? How do you dole out your repentance? Did your dog need to repent for something? Did the children need to repent again? Do you feel their repentance not sufficient? What of the three-year-old, Lori? You said she licked the floor. Do you feel that was suffice? <laughs> I, I am ghost. Please tell them what you were saying. Oh, is it to Kali every time she tried to have Harley do something? <laughs> I'd say apologize to Jesus for hitting him. I said I'd say you know one of those stripes. That's what you just did to him. Because you broke a commandment of the Father. Apologize to Jesus. At one point, this was at the end, <laughs> Harley was in a uh, posture of repentance. And she's doing this. And I said, Harley, are you licking the floor? She goes, no. I said, Kali, apologize to Jesus. And that was it. <laughs> they can't do it. <laughs> I'd say, I would say, and I, because we had to ex explain who God was. So at the end, after the floor licking incident, <laughs> I asked Harley, I said, who is your Lord and Savior? She goes, Jesus Christ. I said, oh, at that. Say, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Have I seen that? She goes, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And man, Yeshua grabbed a hold of her and sealed her. Who am I to say what is right or wrong? Who am I to judge you, Lori? That's not what this is about. This isn't about judgment. Not on my part, not on my behalf. If you were to be judged, <coughs> well, that's not my place. But I was guided to you, Lori. I was brought to see, just like the other situation that I mentioned. It is now, at this moment, in 22nd, 3.22 of 2020. When I was brought to you, Lori, it was because I was seeking out names of phoenixes. And by happenstance, as some might suggest, I misplaced the E and the L. It's funny, isn't it? So did you. In the video that I was, well, rather that was brought to my attention. It's probably about seven months old. The Phoenix talks about the fires of resurrection in Yeshua's name, right? That is what brought me to you, Lori. Brought you to my attention to my observation, much like the observers, the watchers, those who are omniscient. 
whether that be Yeshua, whether that be God, Allah, the angels, as some might say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulallah, there is no God but God, and Muhammad being his messenger, an arbiter of God. There are many arbiters of God, and they serve many purposes, Lori. And I believe that I serve my own purpose, much like you. But I also believe that as humans, as beings of this world, we are fallible, Lori. If not in the actions we take, then the interpretations in the message that we are given. It took me a long time to understand the messages, Lori. And I believe that I still have a long way to go on that path, as do you. And I hope, sincerely, I honestly do, Lori, that you plan to stick around, as it were, that you wouldn't do anything brash, that you wouldn't remove yourself or others from the equation in this ascension that you speak of, the ascension that you speak of not only for yourself but for others. And I wonder to myself, who is it you intend to ascend, Lori? What is the method of ascension that you plan? Would you care to elaborate for everyone? As soon as I lifted my head up after being dropped, having him cry over my body, I was said, no, I did. Satan decided it was funny to blaspheme me. He blasphemed the Holy Spirit. And while I was in the Holy of Holies, which is it? The, the Almighty pulled me out, told me to close my eyes and go and cover the children's eyes because he didn't, he does not want them to see what he's about to do to me. Your conviction seems strong, Lori. And in that conviction, I hope that you will indulge those that wish to understand what it is you are saying. Will you indulge us, Lori? Will you help us to understand, Lori, in a peaceful way, in a less than violent and finite way? I sincerely hope so, Lori. Not only for your sake, but the sake of the lambs, of the innocent. So, I want to talk to all the parents. All parents, what an audacity. I have been commanded by the Most High to come out and tell you that the little ones have been offended. Oh, audacity. See, you guys think that innocence is stolen if somebody's virginity is taken. Innocence is stolen when it gets into your heart. The wickedness gets into your heart. What they? The innocence of a child's heart, or the innocence of a child's mind, or the innocence of a child's eyes. Or the innocence of a child's tongue. That's innocence. And the Most High, God Almighty, the Great I Am, Yeshua HaMashiach, and the Father is so offended by the condition of the children. Now, yesterday, it, it, I had a hard time, guys. I really did. I had to put 
a three, five, and seven year old in repentance. You're going to sin like an adult. You're going to repent like an adult. No. They're breaking the commandments at a very young age. And as the, as it goes on, because their innocence has been stolen by these demonic spirits, Abedana, getting into their hearts and their minds, and Abedana, so, you know, you have the children who oh, it is putting money and toys and everything else above God. They know the toys and money and monsters, but they don't know Jesus. They're not listening to the parents. Oh, I say that. They're in complete rebellion. Oh, and I said that. And the sexual sin that's going on. Oh, I said in the bedrooms. Because of what these spirits have taught them. Because the parents have not taught them who Jesus is. And that they're breaking commandments. And they need Jesus to forgive them. And wash them in the blood. You speak often. And I'm sure, with all the things you have to say, and all the ways you have to say it, that you could articulate for me and for others again and again until, until it's understood. Don't do anything brash, Lori. Do not make decisions that you are not the arbiter of. Don't do anything to those lambs. That would be rather unfortunate for everyone. I hope that you can understand. This is not meant to mock you. I'm sure you've had plenty of that. This is of genuine concern, Lori. Things will happen as they are intended, regardless of what I do or say. I could have come to you and said the same things that many other people have, but I don't believe you've heeded that advice. And I don't believe you would have heeded that advice should I have given it to you in that format. Rather, I am coming to you. I am having you come and see me. Not as a man, not as an individual or a person but as a message. I was guided to you for a reason, I believe, and if only to speak to you in this way, if only in this manner, in this one singular moment in time. It is all part of the grand design. It is all part of something bigger. A picture that is so large that we are so zoomed in on that it has become out of focus for many. I think that you see things on a different frequency than others. Like myself. Like the few. Will not listen to the word. I don't want anyone entering into my gates. Oh, what did I say? That's why I haven't revealed myself to you guys. Oh, what did I say? You need it in the So, I will once again call for repentance. A fast. Oh, I say, gather the children. Oh, what did Because I guarantee you, 
when I reveal myself and you guys enter in the gates and graft in, oh, what that is it there? Nothing that defile us or make it a lie. Oh, what is it there? If you didn't like me here, you're not going to like me there. I don't recognize you as one yet, but time will tell, Lori. Time is the ultimate decider. And when the pale horse comes for all of us, whether that be in one fell swoop, or whether that be incrementally, it will be of the pale horse's accord, and not of yours, not of mine. We are not the arbiter of that. I hope you understand what it is I have to say. If you ever feel that you are unsure or uncertain, by all means, please, come and ask. I would have asked you, but your comments are all disabled. I hope that you will see this ordeal to its end. Its own conclusion, not yours or mine. Keep those children safe in this trying time. You're meant to be a protector, not an executioner. So don't be what you aren't meant to be. What a battle last night.